Hello Virgos, welcome to your monthly tarot reading for the month of April. I have quite a few cards that popped out, so let's look through them. Okay, so I have the Queen of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, the Six of Wands Reverse, the Magician, the Seven of Pentacles, oh, I'm sorry, the Eight of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, the Strength card. I'm going to pull out one more for you here. Okay, the moon. All right. Okay, so let's look at work first, mainly because of all the pentacle situation coming in. And I feel that, you know, work is going to be slow. It's just going to be a little tedious for this entire month. However, a lot of you might have received a new a raise or a financial windfall. And I feel that's coming in very early on, like especially the first half of April. So, you know, uh, on the work front, things are definitely gelling. I don't have uh, negative people in your midst anymore on the work front, okay? What I would definitely advise is this. Um, if there is something you're hoping to launch um, similar and the way they their philosophical outlooks, their advice that they're giving you, um, it is very important not to take other people's advice because I do feel that they're going to steer you in the wrong direction, okay, especially if it is coming from an air sign. Um, so be very careful about that. Um, I do feel that it could be relationship oriented. It could be regarding how you should invest your money and how you can um, devote your energy and your resources. But I feel that it is strongly linked with money situation. I don't feel very strongly that they're in your work environment, but they are giving you advice on how to best invest your money. So um, I don't sense that they're bad people at all. But um, their advice might not might be a little premature, and at the same time, I don't feel they understand um, the situation on how best to invest the money. I don't feel that they have a lot of depth in knowledge when it comes to this. So be a little more discerning and discriminate when you people just randomly throw you advice and they tell you what you should and should not do with your money. Okay. That's the only major problem that I see for this month. Everything else looks very positive because you do have the Magician and the two, uh, Strength card, both in the upright position. And with the Moon too, the Moon could be a hit or a miss. For an Earth sign, it might be a miss. But at the same time, you know, the three major Arcana cards are coming up in the upright position. So I'm looking at this as um, the energy of the major Arcana cards, like right here, overrides the rest of the other cards mainly because they're so potent and they're coming in to help you so these are like uh, positive influences in your life so this month is not going to be a difficult month for you at all I know February was but um March and especially this month it, it looks very um stable actually so the one thing I would say with the magician in the upright position you do have a lot of abundance and you do have the power to really manifest things but it is very important for you to do this on your own and I feel like a lot of solitary cards here which indicates to me that um, you should really trust yourself have faith in your own capabilities and um, I know that with a lot of Virgos you are very very hard worker you are um, you're very competent. A lot of Virgos are perfectionistic at work and, you know, they appreciate a good a job well done and a job that is done thoroughly. And a lot of employers appreciate that in a Virgo employee. So on the work front, you do have a lot of capabilities. It's um, all a matter of like overcoming your uh, self-doubt and overcoming the lack that you feel about your intelligence and your capabilities because you are very, very capable. But, um, you tend to fall under to like um you tend to suffer from like um what I, I'm sensing is like a little bit of insecurity. So don't let that get the best of you. And especially because of that, you're more susceptible to other people giving you opinions where they're not experts. So if they're not experts, take it with a grain of salt and, you know, try to do your research rather than listening to external people when they don't really have full knowledge and full information. Okay, so just be careful about that. But um, and in terms of patience, too. You know, you're an earth sign as well. And what I would say is investment opportunities, especially um, investments, 
made based on the advice of other people are not going to if you have already done it in the past and you're you know waiting for the outcome I don't feel the outcome is going to be favorable so moving forward it is very important for you to um, to really like think this through the next time you plan to invest and going about it your own way would be fine I feel that you're new in this situation as well so you feel that okay I should heed the advice of people who've been who've done this before but just because they've done it and it works out for them it might just be a lucky streak rather than any type of ingenuity or any type of insights that they might have to offer you and I just feel in general that um if it is an investment opportunity I don't feel that is going to be appropriate for you because each person operates in their own way so whatever they're advising you especially because they're an air sign they have very good intuition so they might make choices based on deep-rooted intuition rather than anything that they've learned by the books or any type of textbook type of knowledge that they can dispense that would be up applicable to everyone so keep that in mind when you take advice just know how much of it is really luck intuition from their end rather than you know sweeping generalizations that would apply to all people involved okay um, overall though I do sense that you are very level-headed when it comes to money so trust your own instinct, trust your own gut, and um, try to try to be solitary this uh, month, okay? Let me see what else is coming in. Okay, so for those of you who are also, you know, I, I, I keep kept reading like a fire sign coming in from, from the previous month, and uh, it's a younger energy. What I do sense is this. For the, those of you who are dealing with like a, a fire sign in a romantic situation, um... The fire sign is going to be going through some things, some like um, emotional upsets, and you're going to have to be there to basically kind of like soothe the beast, basically. So you're going to have to play mediator in this situation, and you're going to have to provide um, a little more insight in order to put things into perspective for this person. So you're taking on, I wouldn't say maternal because that sounds like condescending, but um, you're the wise one in this situation. You have a lot of wisdom. So you're going to have to be able to, um, you know, put things into perspective for this person because I feel that they are a little bit hot-headed and they're lashing out at people, everyone involved in problems that they're dealing with rather than taking a more mature and a more um, standoffish approach. So you being, you know, the shoulder for them to lean on and you being there to to soothe away the anger and the frustration and the hurt that they're feeling, you're going to be a very beneficial influence in their lives, okay? For those of you who are dealing with like um, air signs in general, just be a little careful. But I do feel that um, you might have, you know, like I, I, I have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords both in the reverse position. And what I'm sensing is like um, these are friendships, even if you are romantically linked with them somehow. What I do sense is um, it's a situation in which, you know, there are rumors or things circulating in their midst and they're, you, you're kind of troubled by them. You're keeping focus at work, but I do feel like there are just like um, rumors and um, just like gossip and story. They're not about you, but um, they're about other people, but they're just circulating around and... You're like, um, you're jumping the gun a little bit if you really take stock into what they're saying, okay? So don't do that because I don't feel that they know what they're talking about either. If you're romantically linked with them, let the dust settle before you make any type of a decisions because I do feel new information will come to light. And at the same time, if you have total faith and trust in your partner, don't let outsiders influence your perception of your partner, okay? Because I feel like relying on your intuition would be very good this month. Um, and this is next to the two greater cards, too, and they're all in the upright position. So trust your instinct. You know who you're dating, and I feel that uh, Virgos are very, very picky about who you date. So... If you put somebody, you, you know, if you make the other person jump through hoops for you before you get romantically involved with them, I feel that's enough of a screening process. So at this point, you should know who is right for you, who's good for you, who's faithful, and who's truthful. So go with your instincts and don't let um, anything else get in the way of that, okay? 
Let me see what else I can pick up here. Okay, so, um, yeah, so fi finances are going to be like um, your, your financial situation, especially financial gains, are going to be uh, enough for you to sustain yourself this month, and you're going to be quite happy. I do feel that um, that financial gain is kind of a double-edged sword. On the one hand, you know, it, it's a large sum of money, and I feel that you're going to be very satisfied. But at the same time, a lot of you might have, like, extended family members, or you might have, um, you know, people that are really close to you who are a little bit of moochers, and they're not very ambitious, and they're going to see your financial gain as their financial gain, and they're going to step, um, overstep your boundaries in that regard and expect you to give out, okay? So I feel like it is a financial gain, but um, it's a double-edged sword in that most of it is not going directly to you because you're using it and you're dispensing it out to help other people, which is fine if you decide to do that. But make sure, you know, you hold back a little bit for yourself, mainly because um, you're a very kind uh, sign. And I feel, I feel that you might not be discriminate enough about who you're giving your money to, okay? So this same message would also apply to those who are dealing with air signs and the air signs are like um, looking to you as an investor or looking to you for like a financial uh, handout be very careful because they're not completely honest with you what they're going to do with that money so I would strongly strongly advise you to um, yeah take some time to really assess and you know ask them some questions I feel that you're a little too easy when it comes to helping other people that you're not um, you're not asking the important questions so that would be the only thing but in general it, I just feel that um, you know work is going to be a big um, a, a major like overarching energy for this entire month and you're happily going along with the work environment and you're staying you're keeping your head down you're staying focused and you know it's kind of like whistling while you work like you're you're very immersed in the process so um, I wouldn't say it's a major complaint, but, you know, at the same time, like um, finding a way for you to be able to somehow work outside or, you know, to get away from the office type of environment would be very beneficial for your mental health. And I feel very strongly, you know, like um, don't stay dormant too much because I do see a sense of dormancy with this card that might have a negative like uh, impact on you down, down the line. So in general, just, you know, try to incorporate the outdoors somehow or, you know, take time off on the weekends and, and go really go out because it's going to bring you like um, a lot of uh, newness and it's going to really replenish, like uh, refresh your emotional and mental health, okay? Um, yeah, so just be very careful about who you're giving money out to because I feel that you are very kind and you want to be helpful in this situation. But um, people are not completely discriminate. And they, they, they have a sense of entitlement, which is, you know, is never a good thing. When people just feel that um, they're entitled to things that they haven't worked for. So, um, and because they know that they can always count on you. So be, be really careful about that and try to balance out what you give out. And you always have to retain a little peace for yourself. Not in the spirit of, like, selfishness or anything like that. But... It is your financial gain, and it is within your right to do whatever you choose. So don't um, don't feel obligated, and especially don't help for help people who are not willing to help themselves. Especially those who feel entitled to have a piece of your action and have uh, to like um, who are entitled to a handout because you've worked really hard for this financial windfall and you should be the one benefiting from it rather than people who sit on the sidelines and you know pine at the their station in life and haven't really tried to do anything to better themselves and i feel that they are going to be um they are going to squander the money that you give them and they're not going to hold themselves accountable for its investment or anything like that okay that would be my only thing, and um, this card came in very early in the month, so I would definitely say be very discriminating. You're overlooking a lot of things and a lot of flaws in people, and 
um, I know Virgos are in general like you you are a, aware of a lot of flaws in people and you try to um, you try to suppress it because you want to be open-minded and you want to give everyone the benefit of the doubt and especially for those who are like very evolved Virgos you really want to give people the benefit of the doubt but deep down you're very you have a very good um, just read on people and their motives but in in certain you know um, at certain times you really want to try to suppress the the judgment within yourself in order to really help other people and I feel like that's totally fine if anything is going to give you like a good you know karmic balance but at the same time I feel like you're not discriminate enough for this month when it comes to judging other people and especially like um judging the type of information that is filtering through to you for this month so just um, be on the lookout for that okay um, I can't stress it enough mainly because it's coming in so early on in the month and then you know you're not discriminated enough and then you're giving out a lot of money and just as long as you're not giving out on more than you have and I feel that's not going to be a problem with you but um I do feel with the moon here is, you know, lack of discretion here, lack of discrimination and lack of discretion. And I, I feel like y you are very helpful and you want to help, but be discerning, okay? And um, I don't want to be, <laughs> like, I, I don't want to just keep reiterating this message, but um, I feel, you know... <sighs> Yeah, it, it is it is coming in very strongly. So this is something that you're going to have to grapple with for the uh throughout the month of April, okay? But everything else looks very good. Um new projects, try to implement them after the 21st of this month. And uh, let's see. Okay, for those of you who are dealing with children too, um I would say Let's see this. Okay, so your child has the best intentions, okay, but they don't really know how to, the right route to take when it comes to, like, achieving their goals and setting, like, a, a path for themselves. So the the best way I would approach this is um, have them make checklists, like to-do lists and checklists, and then check themselves off as they go, and that would be, like, the best advice to dispense to your child if you have a child in your midst who you're dealing with. Um... Let's see, if your child is an um, an air sign, though, I would say, you know, um, tell him or her to put all plans into a halt, okay? So halt all things right now, because um, I do sense that they are approaching things from a wrong, in, they're going in the wrong direction altogether, only if your child is an air sign, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, I want to, like, see if there's any, like, romance I can pull out of these cards, but they're, the, the, the cards are coming up pretty dry. So, um, let me see about singles, single Virgos especially. So those in established or long relationships, I do feel that, um, your partner is going to rely on you this month to be the mediator and especially to be the voice of reason in this situation. So, um, you're going to be called upon to soothe, you know, the anger and the frustration, okay? As for single Virgos, let me see. I don't get a romantic ambience from these cards for single Virgo. And I would just say, let's see, yeah, at the same time, be discriminate about the people you date and especially the uh, the people that are coming in. I feel that they're a little flaky and um, they're misrepresenting themselves. So the thing that they're promising you or the, th or the things that they, they say they're going to do, Nothing is being followed through and then you have to be the one to basically um, carry the weight, you know, and you're going to be disappointed more than anything if you're dating other people. Okay, so for those who are in um, relationships in general, I pulled out three more cards and these are looking a little more romantic. So let's move these up. I rarely do this. It's mainly because like, I feel that those other cards are not overly romantic. So let's look at coupled Virgos again so yeah the home life situation if you're in a living in together living together type of environment with your loved ones 
um, the home life is going to be destabilized, okay? So it's mainly people are getting angry, um, your spouse or your significant other or the person you're in a stable relationship with. Um, they see that you're really nice and they, they feel that you're um, being taken advantage of. So that's why they're so angry. Like they're angry on your behalf and you have to really soothe them. So that's going to be, you know, thrown off like um, the... Um, the, that relationship might be destabilized, but it's nothing that you can't fix, you know. So I feel that they are trying to help you out. They are being very angry, and they're um, they're lashing out at the people that are taking advantage of you or the people that are dishonest with you in general. And for those of you who are single, I do feel that um, if you are single and not, and, you know, you're dating a few people here, you're dealing with, lo like, a lot of people who have, like, uh, who might be divorced, say, and there's nothing wrong with that. But the divorced people, they come with quite a little bit of emotional baggage. I don't feel that you're meeting a lot of single people, or nor do you think that the single people are, like, dateable just yet because they're a little bit younger than you. And they're not, like, um, completely honest. But you might be dealing with people who have relationships, okay, in the past who might be um, going through like legal disputes, separation, divorce, and things like that. And then um, it feels like their problems become your problems. And then it becomes like a, a very like, you become drawn into their problems. So be careful about that. Um, it doesn't mean they're good or bad people. It's just, you know, these are things that they have to sort out on their own. And But then they're revealing a little too much about themselves. And then you can't really help but take on the burden of other people. So please don't do that. Um, it's, um, it's not your place. And you're going to get dragged down with their lessons and problems that they should have, um, they should have tried to handle on their own rather than, you know... Um, smearing their or like uh, airing their dirty laundry out in public kind of like that so they might overstep their boundaries a little bit in that regard so don't get sucked in okay so overall um, April looks very good on the financial front and for those in stable relationship it looks good too for singles be very discriminate okay